At the time that it happened, my sister and I were walking to Marrickville, which is a predominantly Asian neighborhood. We decided to opt not to drive. We reached an intersection and then we heard two girls kind of talking really loudly behind us. She was wearing gray track pants and her hair was up in this bun. When she started like approaching us, her aura was a lot more obvious to me. My thoughts were to just like maybe ignore it and let it go. But then it was the comment that kind of set my sister and I off. One of the girls, she walked past us and said, stay away from them, they've got coronavirus. I looked at my sister and we both responded at the same time. I feel like there's definitely a stereotype against Asian people. We're not supposed to retaliate. We're just supposed to stand there, take whatever comes to us. I definitely think she was trying to make us feel really small and just basing it off how we look. She thought she had power over us. It obviously struck a nerve in Sophie and I, and we immediately yelled back and said, like, excuse me, what did you just say? After me and my sister responded, it took one of the girls aback because I think she was expecting us to not be able to speak English. That's when things kind of blew up and that's when she started becoming a lot more aggressive. The first thing the girl in the gray said to us was, go back to China, you Asian dog. Right after we heard those words, she started to walk closer to us. At that point, I tried to kind of de-escalate the situation. She walked away maybe like 10 or 20 meters across the street, then she ran back. I like took out my camera and I think the camera is what made her like really, really upset, really, really aggravated. And then she said that she had a knife on her. Don't touch me. I've got a knife in my bag. You want to around here? You little Asian dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the out of me now. I was still filming her. At that point, I was like zooming in on her because I wanted to try to get like her face and like just her body in general in the video so that when I showed police, they could try to try identify her. A man comes in and intervenes at that point. Finally, even though he created that barrier, she still was able to like step a little bit further away and then she spat. Her spit got in my left eye and my hair, like this side of my face here. I felt angry. I felt humiliated as well. So I thought about everyone else looking and I was like worried about what Sophie would think as well. The girl in grey choosing to spit on Rosa rather than hit her, I think definitely speaks to her wanting to feel like important, like I'm powerful and you know, you're, you're nothing. Like, I, you're so unimportant that I could spit on you and not, there's nothing you could do about it. And when I calmed down a bit and I understood what happened, I just cried. It's the only thing that I could do to like express how I felt. I feel like it changed me in a way that like, I know I'm not a victim. I see us now as advocates for change. Me coming forward and talking about it has helped people. It's definitely showed them that it's okay to come out and talk about this stuff. It's your right.